Hi everyone! Woohoo! This is Kim from Crafty Kim and I am here to share with you guys my happy planner for the week. So, um, for those of you who have seen my videos before, I'm doing pretty much the same thing that I always do. But one of the reasons I am doing this is just to kind of showcase how you can do a similar thing almost every week and still end up with something different. So um, I use this Let Love Fill Your Life sticker book that is linked on my on the show notes for this. Looks like this is the last week. And I use washi and paper cutter, figured that one out the hard way, and um, the stickers from the page. So this is actually the sheet that I'm using today, and you'll see I end up using about half of the sheet. So I'm super excited to move away from that red that I've used pretty much for two weeks. I'm super excited to be moving away from that. Um, I needed something a lot cooler, so that's what this one is. You'll notice that the leg of my tripod is right here. Um, I'm trying something new. The last week I set up and did my video, I actually had huge issues with the video and it kept on falling down, so wish me luck. So the first thing that I do is I take a look to see what I'm going to do with my washi. So this week, I'm gonna go ahead and get the washi on. I thought that this washi would be a lovely addition to what I normally, to this like very cool color. So you can kind of see this is darker. I feel like it's really gonna nicely offset that um, color scheme of this one. So what I do is I do one on this side because I'm going to cut it in half on my cutter and one and two, then I'm going to cut this one in half, one and two, and then I'm going to do one more and it's going to be cut in half also. It's going to go here and here. And I haven't decided yet what I'm doing for the bottom. I have a couple of different washies out to look at while I'm doing this, but we'll see. So, moving that off to the side, pulling this here. I also got a new cutter blade for my cutter. I am super duper excited about that because I was having issues with that. Let's just say the last couple of videos that I've tried to make have just been full of issues. I didn't even post the last one. So you'll notice too, I don't really focus too strongly on making sure that my stuff is perfect. For me, these planner pages are just one of the ways that I am creative. Um, I really, really, really enjoy spending time on creative pursuits. I am not, I have, I have learned, I have learned not to be a perfectionist about the things that I do um, and to just enjoy, just to enjoy them. Um, you can focus your entire life on if I don't do this 100% perfect, it's just not worth it. Or you could have fun in life and do things and learn and get better at all sorts of stupid, wonderful things. Um, for those of you who have been following, following along with me on Instagram, you will see that I have been really focusing on my writing. Um, I do a lot of different creative pursuits. I've spent time painting, writing, writing poetry, teaching, mothering. All of these are what I call my creative pursuits. And I 
just love getting to chill out and just be who I am. Um, so this is one of those things where I've learned that I could spend time like freaking out if this, if this one is smaller than this one, or I could just have fun and I pop that baby on here and get done and have something pretty cool at the end. Um, is it going to be perfect? No. Do I know that this is going to bother some people? Oh yeah, I do. I can think of one student I had last year, actually. Um, hi, student, if you're watching, which I hope you're not, because that would be kind of weird. Um, who would be like, oh my gosh, that's not straight. What are you doing? Um, but I, oh, and I can think of a student this year now that I'm thinking about it. But like, I, what I really want people to get out of this is the fact that life doesn't have to be perfect to be really, really awesome. So this video might not be perfect. My daughter is standing right here. What do you need, my sweet? Blanket outside. Yes, you may take a blanket outside. Um, she's currently wearing her nightgown and a mob cap and a doll and a blanket and her prairie dress. <laughs> Do I wonder what she's doing? <laughs> yes. Um, but there are days like that. Um, so her creativity is much different than mine, but we mesh really well together. I'm super excited. Today we are going to be doing a fairy garden together. And I'm going to actually make this pretty long. I really like the way it's kind of looking. Oh, that didn't so what I was really enjoying was this like kind of like torn edge that I was getting. And then, of course, I finally got like a perfect. Where's my come on focus? Perfect edge. So I get all these torn edges and I'm like, oh, I really like those torn edges. And then, of course, the second I say I like those torn edges, it like decides it's going to like do something completely different. Oh, she just came back in and she wanted me to let you all know that I made her prairie outfit. Speaking of my child, this wonderful thing of whiteout was something she decided she was going to play with and messed it up on accident, on accident and then cut it. So in case you were wondering, you never ever I'm just gonna go straight across. I feel like that's such a waste, but I just wanna throw it out anyways, which would be more of a waste. Cut white out I tape. I didn't know it would break it. No, you didn't. <laughs> you wanna say hi, everybody? Hi, everybody. Okay, go away now, child. Oh, look at this one. Find joy in today. Well, I guess I'll let it focus once it's down here. Okay. Oh, I'm using these Paper Make Ink Joy gels, which I also use um, very occasionally in my planner when I want a pop of color, but I use them in my everyday life all the time. And I'm going around and doing a funky kind of outline around it. And I wanted to go around this way for a second. Connecting. There we go. Okay. Um, so one of the things I really like is to do outlines. So I found that outlines are fun. And if you do wavinesses, like all the way around, and you do it a bunch of times, it looks like you did it on purpose. So, I mean, I did do that on purpose. But if, you're, if, you're, if your hand strength is not there, um, that is one of the things that you might want to take a look at doing 
if you're like, oh, mine just won't be perfect. Well, it's not supposed to be perfect, especially when you do it like this. So those of you who've watched before know what I'm doing. I'm cutting my stickers in half. Oops, I went all the way to the edge, which I was not. along with me on my happy planner journey. If you liked this video or if you want to see more content like this, please give me a thumbs up and let me know what sort of videos you are interested in. I do a lot of the frugal 
planner videos, no kits, because I'm a frugal person at heart and the idea of paying for a kit is killer to me. So if you are interested in seeing different videos or if you've got ideas of other places I should look for stuff, please go ahead and let me know. Oh, one of the things I'm going to add at the very end is I'm going to add my write goals for the week and then I'm going to write what I'm going to be doing on a daily basis on my writing. So if you're interested in seeing my writing in my planner and seeing what my plans are, um, let me know. But you'll probably also be seeing videos about what I'm going to be doing and when I do writing vlogs. So thank you very much. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Bye.